you need to run, not walk, to the drugstore for these lippies. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. Today, I've just got to rave about the drugstore lipsticks that I continue to use all the time. Some are new, some are not. So buckle up because I just feel like I, I reach for these constantly and when I don't see them, like when they're on the drugstore shelf, there's like an empty spot where they should be, I get a little panicked. Let's talk about my hair. It's, uh, it's short. She, I mean, she did a good job. She trimmed it. She basically gave me what I wanted for this shape. I just, I think she took like an, maybe more than an inch off. She just took a little bit more length off than I thought of, that I had imagined. And so it feels very, it can also, I can get it really kind of like mod looking, you know, like where it's kind of poofy. And I, and I get it like, ooh, like this, ooh, she don't, I mean, hair is, it just, it grows, you know, thankfully. So yeah, do I look like Camilla, queen consort? Oh my God. Okay. All right. What is on my lips? Well, you guys, okay. So actually that means I do need to talk about some stuff that's not new, but what's new are the new color stay suede ink from Revlon. I have featured these on my Instagram and, and some other videos and I just really enjoy them. I find them to be non-drying. It's a matte formula that seems very lightweight and it just, uh, it just works because the shade range is that kind of nude, you know, 90s nude. And then it also just, it's like $11, $12. It feels good. The shade I am wearing is called Hot Girl and I will swatch it for you. So they, I feel like everyone's doing kind of this square, right? Uh, they have a nice, sweet vanilla scent. This one is very pink. And then we have Gut Instinct, which is another one I enjoy wearing. And that is this one. It's kind of got a more mauve. I mean, you think they look the same when you open the tube and then you swatch them side by side and you're like, oh, that's kind of different. So uh, this one is more berry and then this one has more kind of mauve nude and then I love this shade it's called feed the flame and it's a total dupe to the Mac uh, dedicated to danger de devoted to danger which one is it devoted to danger it's kind of a reddish I love this I love that so that has been just so much fun and you know, they probably have a shade of red that's a little bit more, a little more true to, to red, maybe a little bit more blue. So uh, I should try that, but I like these a lot. Okay, and then I lined my lips to begin with. This LA Girl Shockwave Liner is so good. It is a one you sharpen, it's not automatic. You know, I love me automatic. I have a lot of favorites, but I also come back to the nude lip liners from these. These are not, LA Girl, let me just say, LA Girl has a wide selection of eye and lip pencils. They have automatic ones, they have ones you sharpen. The Shockwave is a little bit of a, I'm not really sure where it fits in as far as a launch or category, if it's a regular item. They have like the neon shades where, you know, it's like, you can get the vibrant uh, liners, either eyeliner or lip liner. They have like hot pink, but the nude, especially this one in maple glaze is so good. It wears so long and it's not very expensive and it's a perfect, perfect shade. Do you see that? It's a very nude, yeah, it's, it's like the perfect, what are, we, what are we lining our lips with these days, folks? So you can see what I did. I combined these two. And then 
<laughs> okay, so here's another thing old school. Alme Goddess Gloss. If you guys have any of these at your store and they look like they're not... <laughs> Have you noticed when, you know, you can just see makeup that's gone bad on the shelf. It's the saddest thing ever when it's either separated or it looks kind of this faded tingy yellow when you're like, I don't think that's the shade it's supposed to be. Or one side of the tube is a different shade than the back side because it's been kind of like UV bleached. It's so sad, but the Goddess Gloss, this is the shade. It's either Unicorn or um, I'll find out for you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put my reader on, you guys. My Beachy reader. My Beachy makeup reader is perfect for this needed angel. So this, may, I think there's several shades of kind of the, you know, shimmery, pink pearl uh, I love in this Alme Goddess Gloss and this one is such, look at that, it's just so, oh, the reflection on it, uh, to me this is as good as like a Pat McGrath, mm -hmm. I bought so many Pat McGrath glosses last year and the year before and then I have only been using my Alme goddess gloss. I like that it's got a little bit of uh to it, but it doesn't, um, it's not sticky. So, and uh, I just think that's such a great combination. Okay. And then the next lipstick that I am just all about that's new is Hate the Name, the Elf O Face Satin Lipstick. They did a really good job with these. I have three and I will swatch them for you. These are so good. So the e.l.f. O-Face lipsticks, uh, I have three shades, like I said. So they're $9, they are, they're a satin formula. They kind of feel a little matte. Um, they remind me of the Lawless lipsticks. Uh, from Sephora. So this was a shade called Fawn, and it's such a good nude, and I would say that the formula is very, you know, kind of satin, kind of matte, kind of satin, and love it. Well, guess what? <laughs> These are so similar. Okay, I don't know if this one's, is this one the dupe? Mm, hang on. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of think that this O Face from Elf in um, in Dirty Talk, the shade Dirty Talk, it's a little different. It's a little darker than the Lawless, but they feel so similar. They just feel so similar. Okay, I think that was the first one I bought in my video where I'm complaining about the O Face name because I don't know your O Face. It's not good. Nobody cares about an O face. <sighs> Truly. Um, no doubt. No doubt. This one. I like. Okay, so they have the elf embossed. Like, they're just really stepping up their game here. Making it look good. Maybe like, oh, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. Or, I don't know. You know? Oh, maybe the Natasha I need a nude. That's... Okay, so now you can see how much more, this is like a true brown. And then this one is called Standing Ovation. And it looks a little rust, like, oh, is it? Yeah, it is, it's kind of a berry. So that is the Standing Ovation, no doubt, Dirty Talk. And they're really pretty. They're just a great formula. Elf really got it this time. Really, really enjoy it. And then I gotta mention, you guys, if I don't, I feel like I'll lose my street cred for $3 makeup items. <laughs> the um, Not LA Girl, everybody gets confused, LA Colors Holographic Lip Gloss. I think I have every shade. So this is $2.99, $3.99.
This particular one is called Heavenly. I actually bought a bunch of these and gave them as gifts um, for Christmas. I just put them in like my sort of gift collections like I had for girlfriends with you know candles and lotions and different things I was I was gifting or or even their daughters <laughs> they're probably like why did she give me like this cheap lip gloss because it's good <laughs> so here is this shade and right it just that kind of you think well okay Rebecca it's just a lip gloss it is such a beautiful formula. It is such a beautiful shade. That particular shade is so good because it really looks so nice over a nude lipstick if you wanna give it a gloss but not kill it, right? And it's just so pretty, or even mixed with a liner if you wanted to kind of do a, a glazed lip look, but so pretty. I love, there's a, a diamond shade, a gold shade. They have such shift to them. They just pack on the pigment and the reflection of the the pearl and I just I love them. So I really hope LA Colors keeps making them because they're so good. Um, and that is my rundown of amazing drugstore lippies. There's always more. There really there's more um, where that came from. I am sort of obsessed. So if you want to see any of my previous favorites of drugstore items. I do have a playlist. I'll link that. And um, I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks so much. And if you enjoy this content, I would love your subscription. Please subscribe. And thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.